iodine clock experiment is most commonly used in jaw-dropping chemistry demonstrations with many different variants. However, it has been used for educational purposes too for a long time now. In this video, you will watch the use of iodine clock experiment and the study of reaction kinetics and specifically the effect of reactant concentration and temperature on the reaction rate. In this version, we use relatively simple materials. A hydrogen peroxide solution of 0.2 molar, a fresh 2% starch solution, 1 molar sulfuric acid, 0.01 molar sodium isulfate and 0.1 molar potassium iodide. In four beakers, we first combine the indicated volumes of sulfuric acid and water as you see in the table on the left. Then we add the appropriate amount of potassium iodide as shown in the table. In separate cylinders we measure the indicated volumes of hydrogen peroxide and sodium thiosulfate and keep them aside for the subsequent use. Then we add 10 drops of starch indicator in each beaker. We add the hydrogen peroxide and sodium thiosulfate at the same time and we start our stopwatches. <laughs> As you can see in this figure, beaker B contains double concentration of potassium iodide compared to beaker A. And beaker C contains double concentration of hydrogen peroxide compared to beaker A. Finally, solution in beaker D is warmer than in beaker A because we warmed up the water beforehand. Reaction proceeds in all four beakers, albeit at a different speed. Higher reactant concentrations increase the number of molecule collisions per unit of time and therefore increase reaction rate. Two reactions take place at the same time. In the first reaction, hydrogen peroxide and iodide ions produce elemental iodine, which is rapidly consumed by thiosulfate in the second reaction. Since thiosulfate is in deficit, as soon as it is exhausted, iodine stains the starch instantaneously with a deep blue color. In all four beakers, this happens when a specific amount of iodine is produced independently of the initial concentrations. The rate is directly proportional to iodide or peroxide concentrations, thus part of rate law equation is derived. In a separate experiment, we quantitated the effect of temperature on the reaction rate. Delivering heat increases the kinetic energy of reactants, which results both in more collisions per time and in higher frequency of productive collisions. In this particular experiment, 
increasing temperature by 11.5 degrees results in 2.4 times increase in reaction rate.